Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce you Alex, who is a student of my blockchain course and find his first blockchain job after. So he's going to introduce himself and explain what is his blockchain journey. Hi Alex. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Hey, thanks for coming for this interview. I'm really curious, uh, what was your background before getting into blockchain? I've always been into uh, developing. I always liked programming, but uh, that was not my job. I was uh, working in a different uh, area of technical uh, stuff. And then I got back to it when I uh, got into blockchain because I felt it's like it's something really interesting, really fascinating, and uh, that's basically the future. So I got back into programming and specifically into uh, blockchain programming. So you were technical and maybe you enjoy programming, but you know, after a few years, like some time, it's not as exciting as uh, at the beginning. And then you find blockchain and if I understand well, it made you excited again about programming? Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's great because uh, I think that's exactly what would happen to me too. And so what was the thing that you thought was amazing about blockchain? Basically, I was always also interested in finance and economic. So um, it's the perfect mix between uh, the two of them. And I don't know, it opens so many possibilities uh, to uh, take power back uh, on our own finance and the way that the whole money thing work around the world. I felt it was really something to do right now. It's the, it's the thing that is hot right now, nowadays. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, so you, you started to, to study blockchain uh, by, by using my, my channel and, and my course. And, and what was the main difficulty for you? Well, basically, not really. I did not start with your channel. Um, I started by looking around on, on the web and trying to find some information because I got, I started by getting right back to uh, solidity programming. I wanted to do smart contracts uh, and it was the difficulty main, main the main difficulty because um, I feel like right now there is not so much resources um, to really learn blockchain development uh, without having a, a good background. And so I struggled a bit. I started with the Solidity documentation, which is not very straightforward to me <laughs> uh, when you don't have uh, like a good web, back, uh, web um, development background. It's, it can be a bit hard. But then I found your channel and uh, I think it's, it really helped me out. And uh, your, uh, your course, uh, DAP30, was a, a very good training. Okay, it's good for people who are starting to study blockchain and say, okay, how can I, can I get started? And yeah, I see it for many of my students, the blocker usually is a lack of skills in, uh, in web development. Um, mm -hmm. And um, so what kind of advice would you give to a, a, a beginner right now who want to get in, in blockchain? Like maybe something that you, you struggle to understand, you, you wish you understand at the, at the beginning? I think the best advice I could give is to um, have a close look onto a financial um, knowledge to understand what, what, um, what everything works. For example, what is inflation, um, to understand token economics, stuff like that, because you might be lost for some concept if you don't understand that. And fortunately, I already had a background uh, in finance and economics. So that was pretty easy for me. But I feel like I would have been lost if I did not know about that before. Yeah, it's a good remark. Yeah, like for me, like the two really prerequisites is like some skill in, in web development and uh, some... Uh, basic uh, knowledge in, in finance that's true like in in crypto we, we don't really talk about it we'll, uh, we'll assume people already understand but uh, that's actually not mm -hmm. the case of everybody and so you took my course and so how did you go from my course to your, your first job what happened so basically i already had a good uh, understanding of solidity and um, web programming but um, it was a good way to practice a lot because in dap 30 you so have 30 different projects so you can really uh, practice and make things really get the knowledge inside you and not having to always look for everything when you want to do something so i was then um, confident into my uh, solidity programming skills and then i worked on two personal projects so i did um, a decentralized exchange and a dao 
and those were pretty, um, it was not huge um, projects, but it was still uh, pretty uh, complex. So I published them on my GitHub and that was the thing that really helped me find a job in this area. That's a really nice story because you did exactly uh, what was the plan of my course, which is to build projects, put that on GitHub and get noticed with them. So yeah, I mean, I'm really glad it, it worked out for you. And so now you work for this blockchain company remotely. So this is great. Thanks, Alex. It's very inspiring for newbie. And yeah, I wish you good continuation in your blockchain journey. Yeah. Bye, Alex. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Julie. <laughs>